Use the small pin to press the easy reset button in order to reset easy. Remove the screws first before taking off the case. After the bolts are removed, use the opening pick to take off the cover. Pay extra attention to the L ports to avoid causing damage to the ports. Now, remove the battery. Pull all the cables carefully. This model has one SSD slot. To remove the SSD, first we have to remove the screw. After the screw is removed, unplug the SSD with the angle that's about 45 degrees. Check if the thermal pad is attached properly on the side that touches the motherboard. To remove the module, first you need to pull the clips next to it and allow the module to pop up. After that, unplug it with the angle that's about 45 degrees. If you would like to upgrade RAM, it's better to use two of the same brand and spec to avoid the compatibility issue. Now we just have to put everything back. Pull the little cap back on the power connector. 